Hello, we are doing long division with the standard algorithm. Today we're going to do 694 divided by 3, and I'm also going to draw a fact triangle to represent that. 694 divided by 3, so in other words, we're also saying 3 times what equals 694, because division and multiplication are related. I'm going to use the standard algorithm D, M, S, B. D for divide, M for multiply, S for subtract, B bring down. The way I remember it is, does McDonald's sell burgers? Now, we're going to have a remainder because you can't actually divide 694 divided by 3. If I have three friends and I'm dividing these up, let's say I have 694 balloons and I'm giving them to my three friends, I'm gonna end up with some left over that I can't divide equally that I just have to keep, and that's my remainder. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll divide six divided by three. Six divided by three. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I have six, how many threes fit into it? How many groups of three can I make? Two. And I'll put that up here. Now I'm gonna multiply. Which is six. And now I'm going to subtract and I get a zero. But don't worry, I'm not done because if you just follow the step, you can see we need to bring something down. So we can't do much with that zero, but we're bringing down a nine and you can absolutely work with that. Now we're going to do nine and we're going to divide. What are we dividing by? Always use that three. Keep using that same three there. So now we're gonna do nine divided by three. So if we draw another triangle, we are now saying how many threes fit into nine or three times three is nine. And so we had six here. Now how many groups of three do we have? We had two and now we have something else. Three. Three times three is nine. Nine divided by three is three. So we did nine divided by three is three. I'll put it right there. Now we do our next step, which is multiply. We're gonna use the last thing we touched and this three here. Three times three is nine. Subtract. Nine minus nine is zero, just like before. Next, we're gonna bring down. What are you bringing down? The four, you got it. And where are we putting it? Next to the last thing we touched. So take that four and bring it all the way down. There it is. What do we do next? What's the next step? Divide. With what numbers? Hopefully you're thinking the four, because that's the last thing we touched. And you're dividing by that same number that we keep using. Just going back to that three over and over again. Four divided by three. So now we're saying if I have four, how many groups of three can I make? Or how many threes fit into four? Just one, right? Just one group of three. And I'm not saying that three times one is four. It's not. Three times one is three. But that's the closest we can get to four, all right? So three times one is three. Um, so we can fit one three into four. So we did four divided by three is one. Now we'll multiply. One times three is three. Next step, what do you get? Bring down, is there anything to bring down? No, and that's when you know that you're finished, when there's nothing left to bring down. Can you do anything with this one? No, you can't. So here's what I did. I had 694 balloons. I gave them to my three friends. One, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, five, five. And I ended up with one left over that I can't. I'm not going to, you know, split a balloon up. So that's the remainder. It's left over. So here's what we're saying. We are saying 694 divided by 3 is 231 remainder one. What that means is if you do three times 231, you should be one short. Three times 231 should be 693. And then if we put our remainder back in, it'll get us up to 694. So if you want to check this with multiplication, here's how you would do it. We would do 231 times three and then whatever we get should be one short of 694. So we should get 693 
and then we add our one back in. So let's go ahead and do that. And I want you to notice as we're multiplying, we're gonna see the exact same problems that we just did on here because multiplication and division are related. So three times one is three. Three times three is nine. So that's what we did here. Three times three is nine. And then three times two, three times two is six. Add that one and you get your 694. And that's how you check the question. And that is long division with the standard algorithm and a remainder.